research it all. I didn't research the ball. Do you research the call? Research the name. I didn't research the game. Do you research the change? Hi, this is Sam Monic, and this is a token metrics review of Hedera Hashgraph. What would you do if your assets were suddenly frozen or your identity was stolen? This is a question that everybody better be thinking about. How many more internet security breaches and then false promises of repair is it gonna take before the idea gets in people's head? Big data networks are suspect. First, it was big retailers like Target, whose databases were hacked, then big banks, Citibank and JP Morgan, then top intelligence agencies in this nation, like the CIA and the NSA had countless national security secrets stolen by foreign hackers. And in the fall of 2017, Equifax had that huge hack where 136 million social security numbers were hacked. And then a week later, the SEC was hacked and thieves now have information that could be used to manipulate stock prices. Could we wake up tomorrow and discover a trillion dollars missing from the banking system? So Hedera Hashgraph is the cryptocurrency that we're talking about. George Gilder, a well-published Harvard grad, wrote about this cryptocurrency in his book, Life After Google. He thinks that it has the possibility of being the future of the internet. He says this fast, efficient system may well prevail as the bottom layer of blockchains. So Gilder claims Karl Marx's biggest mistake was to say that in the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century, all of the factories, the turbines, the electricity, the railways, and these big innovations represented the final achievement in productivity. And he believed in the future, all that would matter wasn't the creation of wealth anymore, but the redistribution of wealth. So there's a similar idea nowadays. Big companies say that search engines, machine learning, robotics, biotech are all the ultimate achievements. And they think in the future, most of us will go and will retire to beaches and Elon Musk will go off with all the successful leaders to remote planets. And this is a belief that Bill Buckley calls immunitizing the eschaton or final days. It's a winner take all attitude. The reality is the system we have now is 2D. It's unlikely these major issues like cybersecurity and privacy can be solved with the computer systems that we have now and the big data networks like Google and all of these other networks that are probably just going to continue to get hacked. So Hedera Hashgraph is building a decentralized network that will really have the potential to solve these deep-seated issues in our present-day system. So watch this video to find out our score on the project. All right, so now let's move on to see the score of Hedera Hashgraph. So we start off by looking at what consensus mechanism does the project use, and Hedera uses DAG. And as an underlying technology, it uses delegated proof of stake, kind of like Libra. The Hedera governing council consists of industry heavyweights like Dushka Telecom, and Boeing, and it promises more than 10,000 TPS at a very low average transaction fee. So basically it lacks decentralization with the benefits of scalability and security. Nature of supply, it has a fixed supply, as you can see with Masari's graph, so it's deflationary in nature. Then token burn, they don't have a token burn. How many website views do they get per month? gets a lot of website views per month. So here in July, you can see 130,000 and then uh, August, 95,000. That's a lot of views. Is it listed on, on a top exchange? Yes, it's listed on Binance. That happened on September 27th. And it's also listed on some of these exchanges, Bittrex, Galaxy Digital, GSR, OKEX, some big exchanges. So does the white paper or website explain real world implementation or future practical applications? Yes, it definitely does. Right here, you can see that in the future, a user might be issued a driver's license from the DMV and both the user and the DMV digitally sign the transaction that gets put into a hash of it into the ledger. So that's a great real world implementation of Hedera. Are there any public videos of the team members? Right here on their website, the first video that they have is this video of Lehman and Mance, both talking about Hedera Hashgraph for 40 minutes. They do a great job. 
then we have, do they have customers and users? Yes, here are all the dApps that are building on top of the platform. 26 different dApps are building on top. Ads DAX is, is one of the biggest ones. So the next point I'd like to make is, does the token fulfill any utility? And the main purpose isn't fundraising. So there are two different uses of HBARs and they're both listed in this website. So they could be used to settle network fees that incurred by the use of the services, like running smart contracts, storing files or transferring crypto. Or on the other hand, they could be used to secure Hedera's proof of stake network and to wait votes on transactions when reaching consensus. Additionally, does the project have early reputable investors? So Block Tower, DHVC, Fenbushi, Digital Currency Group, these all invested in it. You can see on PitchBook here, they have the investors listed, Block Tower. These are big investors, Fenbushi, big reputable funds that are investing in the project and believe in it. Does the community have more than 100 or 15,000 members? So yes, 19,000 members on Telegram and 35,000 on Twitter right here, which is a big following for Twitter. What type? It is a DAG. Is the company website aesthetically pleasing, long-term buyers, long-term visit? The website has everything that we look for in a project website. You can see the website here. It's a very well-designed website. Keeping all those points in mind, moving to the next point. Are they written about often in mainstream media? So right here is just one article that I found from a big mainstream media. This is Forbes talking about uh, the mainnet launch. So yes, well-known industry person that can drive developmental progress. So I think that Lehman and Mance are both well-known people in the industry and they've been working together for a long time. And it seems like they work very well together and they can definitely articulate the vision. I watched the whole 43 minute video on these guys and they did a great job telling us how Hedera Hashgraph plans on doing what they plan on doing. In terms of competition, are they leading the pack? So it could be seen as a competitor to Holochain, but in terms of using a DAG, competes with IOTA, Nano, Perlin, Casper Labs. And we don't think that it's leading the pack because IOT is definitely in the forefront. How decentralized is the network? All right, so contrast all that with how decentralized is the network. This is one of the big problems that we see. Um, it's centralized to some extent. So there's 39 big parties that control the network, including IBM, Deutsche Telekom, Boeing, Tata Communications. And the fact that it has 39 people controlling it just basically means that it's not decentralized. So moving on to the next question is number of all-star team members. There's at least 11 all-star team members. We have Donald Thiebu worked at IBM. Then we have Christian, Datastax, Luciano, Morgan Stanley. Then we have more people working at Merrill Lynch, PayPal, AT&T, Fujitsu, HP, Cisco, PricewaterhouseCooper. This is a very strong team, well-experienced. So finishing off with these last few data points, was the company or key member involved in the scandal? No. Does the token create market or address an unmet need? Yes, it definitely does. Percent of total supply circulating, only 0.01% of the tokens are circulating. 645 million tokens circulating out of 50 billion. Then relation of trading volume to market cap, there's a lot of trading volume, 11 million, and then a market cap is very small, 23 million. Then where they lost some points was, are there more than 50% of the tokens owned by the community? And the community does not own more than 50% of the tokens. All right, so now for the part you've all been waiting for. The score is a 70.6%. This is pretty good. In comparison to some of its competitors, IOTA scored a 67%, Nano scored a 63%, and Holochain is the highest scoring competitor at an 86%. All right, to conclude this video, I'll give our final opinions, the pros and the cons. For pros, it gets a lot of mainstream media attention. They are claiming to have very high TPS. It has an extremely strong team. They wrote a great white paper. They have a big community with all of those Twitter followers and Telegram members. They have some very strong leaders, and it scored pretty well on the token metrics. But for cons, it's Behind its competitors, they raised a huge amount of money. The token did not perform well upon listing. 
Uh, there's a tiny little amount of tokens circulating. The community barely owns any of the tokens and the network is not very decentralized. So there are definitely a lot of pros and cons to Hedera. Overall, it's, it's a good project. I really hope you enjoyed this week's episode on Hedera Hashgraph. Please let us know below in the comments your thoughts on the project. Are you excited about the future of Hedera Hashgraph? Are you going to buy any tokens? Are you going to try any of their dApps? Let us know. To the moon and beyond. Some say that technology is getting too complex. That personal data can't be protected. Some say that the only safe place is home. That cryptocurrencies aren't safe. We at Ledger believe that your data should be safe everywhere you go. That security can coexist with simplicity. We believe that your assets should be in good hands. Yours. Ledger Nano X. Keep your crypto secure everywhere.